Good, Good morning. morning. It's Friday. And it's Yay. Friday. High fives. High ten. Exactly. So happy about that. You guys know we love our Fridays. We do. Uh, how was your workout? Workout was good. Yeah. Although I got there a little early today, as you know, and um, it was crowded. I wanted to do legs, and every single leg machine was being used. So I said, oh, let me start off with a little bit of chest just to get a little extra credit. Because, you know, extra credit is good. Teacher likes that. <laughs> right? So I tried to do that. And I did one warm-up set with the bench, and then the hack squat became available. So up, back to legs. So that's good. Yeah. Um, today's a cardio day for me. So I um, was going to go bike riding, but then I realized we were probably going to bike ride either one or both of the days over the weekend. So I decided to take today as a rest day. And so I ended up vacuuming and doing the dishes. Don't be jealous. <laughs> But the house looks mauve. Yes, yeah, the house is clean now, so Mars. that's done, so that's good. Um, what are you going to have for breakfast? I know you're going to be shocked to hear this. I'm going to be having oatmeal. <laughs> and with that, I'd like to give a shout out to Bob Red Mill. Who, Bob's Red Mill, yeah. Right, who heard that we that eat, and especially I eat oatmeal every single morning. And they were kind enough to send us a few samples, so we'd like to thank them for that. And I thought that it was relevant to show it to you guys here on um, Yo-Yo Dieting Recap Day because having a really good breakfast of whole foods and especially whole grains like oatmeal is going to help with yo-yo dieting because you're not going to be hungry. It's going to hold you over for a really long time. Um, you know, you guys know we add a lot of fruit and nuts and seeds to our oatmeal mm -hmm. and it'll hold us for four or five hours, no problem. Right. And so we definitely feel like we tell people all the time, if you do nothing else on your journey to being whole food plant-based, start by eating oatmeal in the morning because it's going to be a really great uh, choice. And we choose Bob's Red Mill because it is organic and, and uh, we just, we really like it. We right. buy the big bags. We do. We buy the big bags, but this is awesome. But we were so. really, really pleased with that they heard that we eat their oatmeal and we recommend it. And so they sent us some samples. So that's awesome. That's awesome. So Thank much you. fun. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know what I'm going to have for breakfast, but probably some oatmeal because I need to eat oatmeal. Yes, it's good it, for my gut. Sure. I've been telling you guys, it's good for my yes. gut. And honestly, I will be having oatmeal as well. Yep. So this week we've been talking about yo-yo dieting. We started out with what is yo-yo dieting? And basically what it is is the idea that you go on a diet, you're super excited about it, and you do whatever, and pretty much any portion control uh, limitation diet you go on, if you stick with it for a couple of you know, weeks, you're gonna lose some weight. And so that's super exciting, and you lose weight, but then you realize it's not sustainable because it's either not healthy or it doesn't, it's not practical in your lifestyle or whatever the reasons are. So you end up going back to your old way of eating and your weight goes back up. And often, not only does your weight go up, but it goes up above where you were when you started. And so we talked about what is it on Monday and then on Tuesday we talked about well, what causes that? Why does your body lose weight and then go back up and gain more weight than when you started? And the first thing is, is that any change to the environment, which, you know, what you're eating, is going to cause your body to say, oh, I need, need more calories, I should burn some weight. But then it's going to get used to it, and two things can happen. One, you can end up going into a famine mode, which takes time. It's not the same as intermittent fasting. Go into a famine mode, which means your body reduces the amount of calories it burns to just at the basal metabolic rate. And so then when calories do become available again, your body's like, oh, I was in famine mode. I should definitely store a lot because there's going to be another famine. And so it, it more rapidly adds fat back to your system than you first started with. So that can definitely cause yo-yo dieting because it messes up your metabolism. And how many people have we known that, that have told us that they've actually gained more weight after coming off that diet or their mm -hmm. diet than when, before they started the diet? And now, because we are in this space and we're talking to people who are doing a lot of the popular diets like the keto or the paleo or whatever diet is popular at the moment, um, I'm also hearing the horror stories about, you know, it causes them heart disease or it gives them diabetes or it does all this horrible stuff to their bodies. And we've told you before that if you go on one of those uh, quick fix diets, that you're mortgaging your long-term health for short-term gains. And those short-term gains, unfortunately, don't even stick around. That's the really sad thing. They're short term. I mean, that's the whole point of the yo-yo dieting is, is you got to keep doing it and keep doing it because it just doesn't work. And, and yeah. And in doing research for this, I learned something which I guess I should have known, but I didn't realize till I actually saw the number. Ninety-nine point five percent of portion control diets fail. Right. So think about that. You can almost be rest assured that when you start a diet, you will at some point fail. If yep. it's one of these type of yo-yo diet. If you're doing portion control. If you're doing portion control. And that's what we like about you know being able to eat whole food plant-based and eating things like oatmeal is that we don't end up having to worry about portion control. We just eat kind of whatever and 
it's as, healthy and good for us. As we say, our, our oatmeal is, is right around 1,000 calories. Everything, by the time we put everything in our oatmeal, mm -hmm. you know, and I have two servings of oatmeal, right? So how many calories is that? Well, just quickly, one serving, which is a quarter cup, is 170 calories. And that one, this have, one's 140. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then I always have two servings. So that's right there. You're off to a good start. Off and running, right as they there. say. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So then the, on Wednesday, we talked about, okay, how do you stop yo-yo dieting? What do you, how do you not do that anymore? Because it's not a healthy option. And the first thing that we, we said was, you've got to find a way to eat that actually works for your body and that you can sustain over the long term. So you have to, you have to educate yourself about what is healthy, what is good for you? How does it work that you, know, you can eat healthy foods and stay with it? And we recommended start by eating you know, whole foods, eat those grains, eat those beans, eat your starches. And I know that so many people start freaking out when I start talking about eating carbs, but whole food carbs are not the same thing as eating cakes, cookies, and donuts. Right. We've had that conversation. What did you. I see today? That was frustrating. Don't get on your soapbox about just, people eating donuts. But I mean, so we saw two, we, we went for Wawa coffee this morning. Um, and while we were there, we saw a couple people going for the donut thing, and these were not in shape people. It's the best way I can say it. And I don't know. I mean, I'm, I just wanted to ask them why did they choose the donut? Now they want to say they're hungry. They're probably addicted to sugar, and you that's know what, that. That's the problem. They're addicted to the sugar. And that's a, that's another issue. And that's actually what we're going to talk about next week. Is we're going to talk about food addictions next week um, on our lives. So you can you know join us next week uh, here at our, our journey, and we'll talk about food addictions. Because I do think that for a lot of people, they yo-yo diet because they are they, there's a food addiction. And a lot of America is addicted to food. So if you want to stop, you're going to have to break those addictions. You're going to have to start eating healthier foods. You're going to have to educate yourself and keep those healthier foods in the house. And that, that takes effort, absolutely. Right. So we're going to try to do a very really quick wrap uh, on... I'm not done. Oh. I guess he wants to be finished. He must be hungry. I'm ready. He's oatmeal. Um, um, the last, on Thursday, we talked about the psychology and mental stress of yo-yo dieting. And, you know, obviously there, it comes with disappointment in yourself and it comes with um, the emotional eating and cortisol and the criticism you get and your belief that it's your willpower, that you fail, that you don't have the resolve. And the food companies and the medical industry has definitely blamed us that it's our fault rather than the food that they make that's addictive. So uh, we talked about the co cognitive dissonance, that if you, um, if you feel like you want to do something and you talk about wanting to do something, but then you don't do it, your brain is like what you're saying and the way you're behaving doesn't match. And that creates stress in your body and raises your cortisol. And then that creates anxiety. And then you end up expecting to fail. And of course, now me telling you that 99.5% of all portion control diets fail, you're like, well, that's a failure. Right. But now, I but, failed. But if you do something like we've done, which is completely just revamp the way you eat, it's going to make a huge difference in, in how you feel. And you're going to have to find your friends that are supportive and not the ones that are going to rain on your parade. And, and as we always say, we did not start with 100%. This is what we're going to do. We worked our way up to where we are right now. Right, and then I recommended that you look into the work by Dr. Lyle, who's a psychologist, who has a website called esteemdynamics.org, where he talks about the pleasure trap and the way, the reason that even unconsciously we want to please other people, and so we end up even on our diets and the way that we eat, we eat to please other people or to not feel weird or not to be, you know, left out or whatever. And so he talks about that great um, resource for that. Did you have anything you wanted to add about yo-yo dieting? Um, just don't do it. They wish it was that easy. Stop. Oh. It's oh. not that Thank easy. Thank you for stopping. I was getting dizzy. <laughs> so that's what we have to say about yo-yo dieting. Like I said, next week we want to talk about uh, food addictions. So come back next week to, to talk about that. And we will definitely uh, have a lot of information to share. Do you have anything you wanted to add? And in all oh, well, honest or realness or whatever I want to say, because I don't know. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, please share them. If you um, want us to talk, you know, have speak, a topic, yeah, speak about a specific topic, share it with us, and we're happy to do that. Um, if you're interested in more information, we have a free webinar out there at howtofeedahuman.com, which is the hashtag that I have up there, howtofeedahuman.com. If you'd like to go to our business website, you can go to rnrjourney.com, where you can learn about us and what we do and why we do this. And you can become a member where you have access to our community page where you can ask us questions directly. 
We are on Facebook. Our Facebook page is on our journey to health and we're on Instagram and we're on YouTube. So those are the places that you can find us. Do feel free to reach out if you have questions or comments or anything you'd like us to discuss about being whole food plant-based. I think that's all I've got for them. Okay, I think that's Let's it Let's go eat breakfast. Uh, again, thank you, Bob's Red Milk, for sending us the samples. We appreciate it. And with that, we will say, eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend.